All right, we're going to start 2023 Algebra 1, Part 15 by Professor Alfredo Galvez Jr., 11, 11, 22. 320 to 343 questions. Ready? Y'all ready? Say yes. All right. So evaluate the function f of x equals 2x plus 3, f of 0. Oh, wait, before this, you need some money right now for college? Yes. You can go here. Great boss, great work, great food. Right now, they're open 24 hours. They're looking for workers. The more hours you work, the more money you make. Okay, but let's say you don't need that right now. Let's just get this out of here, okay? Later, you can get that. All right, so now, let's do this one. So evaluate the function f of x is 2x plus 3, find f of 0. So we put a 0 in there for the x, so that means 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3. Remember, please excuse my dear understanding, order operations. Oh, you know, yes, I remember that. So now 0 plus 3 is 3. So f of 0 is 3. Yes, you can use a graphing calculator. What is a graphing calculator? Let me just show you what that looks like. It looks like this. Okay, there's a key. You can use this right here. Follow these instructions, you'll get the answer with the machine. Okay. All right. Remember, your bleeding, burning, peeling sunburn will not wake the sharks. That, that's the good news. Okay. So now let's go to the next question. Evaluate the function f of x equals two x plus three. Find f of negative two. So to find f of negative two, put it in for the x. F of negative two, negative two. That times that is going to be negative four plus three, and that's going to give you a negative one. So f of negative two is what? Negative one. Easy, huh? Use your calculator, yes, you can use it. Ah, oh, evaluate the function. Hmm, f of x equals 2x plus 3, f of 2a, 2a, well, that's okay. Just substitute it in for the x, 2a there, 2a there, and guess what? You multiply first, 2 times 2a is 4a plus 3, that's it, we're done. Remember, sharks only eat in a day, you're safe. Whether they're musting out and having fun, swimming. All right, this one, evaluate the function, f of 4x. Ah, so put a 4x for the x. x is replaced by 4x, by 4x. So 2 times 4x is 8x plus 3. So f of 4x is what? 8x plus 3. Yes, sharks sleep at night, always. Evaluate the function, f of x equals 2x plus 3. f of a plus 2. So then we're going to put this for the x right here. f of a plus 2, a plus 2. So now we multiply this out. So that's going to be 2 times that is 2a, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 and 1. But we can add these, right? You see a 4, 3? Yes. So we're going to have 2a plus what? 7. This one. Value with the function. f of x is 2a plus 3, f of a plus b. So put in a plus b for the x, a plus b here. So 2 times that is 2a, 2 times b is 2b plus 3. That's it. We can't, no more like terms. They're done. Sharks never eat at night. Remember that. You're lucky. This one, evaluate the function. f of x equals 2x plus 3. Again, f of x plus 2. For the x, we're going to put x plus 2. x plus 2. So this is going to be 2 times that is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. Ah, we can put these together. See it? 2x plus what? 7. So f of x plus 2 equals what? 2x plus 7. All right, next one. Evaluate the function. f of x equals 2x plus 3. x plus h. f of x plus h. So we're going to put x plus h there. x plus h there for the x. So 2 times that is 2x, 2 times that is 2h, plus 3, and then that's it. No more like terms. We're done. This one. Evaluate the function f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. A little bit harder. It's a quadratic, but that's okay. f of 0. Put a 0 there, put a 0 there, put a 0 there. So 0 squared means what? 0 times 0, and 0 times 0 is 0. And 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2. So 0 plus 0 is 0. Add two more, yes, it's two. So f of zero is what? Two. Use the graphing calculator if you want to. Okay, remember, sharks cannot smell your bleeding sunburn, ever. Okay, we ought to swim in Mustang Island. Evaluate the function, f of negative two. Okay, so where the x's are, we put negative two, negative two, negative two. So negative two squared means negative two times negative two, all of it. See the parentheses? All of it. Negative two times negative two is going to be positive four. This times this is going to be negative 6 plus 2. So this is going to be what? Negative 2. And negative 2 plus 2 is a 0. So f of negative 2 comes out to what? 0. Or you can use a graphing calculator if you want to. Evaluate the function. f of 2a. So it means for the x, we're going to put 2a, 2a, 2a right there. See it? 2a, 2a, 2a. So 2a squared means 2a times 2a. And that means 4a squared. 
And this is going to be 6a plus 2. That's it. We can do. That's we can do. Ah, uh, this one. Evaluate the function. F of 4x. That's right. Put a 4x, 4x, 4x. So 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 3 times that is going to be 12x plus what? 2. Uh, evaluate f of a plus 2. A little bit harder. So we put a plus 2, a plus 2, a plus 2 for all the x's right here. So a plus 2 squared means what? a plus 2 times a plus 2 twice, right? So let's do this part first. a times a is going to be a squared. a times two is 2a. 2 times that is 2a. Again, I did a times a, a squared. a times 2 is 2a. And then 2 times that, 2a. And then 2 times 2 is 4. And then plus, bring it down. So now, 2a and 2a is 4a. So we have a squared plus 4a plus 4 plus 3 times this and that too. So let's take this off. a squared plus 4a plus 4 plus 3a plus 6 and 2. So now, can we put anything together? Let's see, like terms. a squared, nope. 4a, 3a, 7a. And 4 and 6 is 10, 2 more, 12. So f of a plus 2 is a squared plus 7a. 12. Oh, another complicated one. That's okay. A plus B in there for the x's. A plus B, A plus B in there. A plus B squared means what? A plus B times A plus B. Let's multiply it out. Foil it. A times A, A squared. A times B, A, B. B times A is A, B or B, A. I just rewrote it. B times B, B squared. So this is like 1 A, B, 1 A, B. See that? 1 A, B, 1 A, B. So really that's going to be A squared plus 2 A, B plus B squared. Okay, thinking like one bear plus one bear is two bears or something. I don't know, county bears or something. And three times this, so we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared plus 3a plus 3b plus 2. Plus two. That's it. I guess we're done. No like terms, huh? How about this one? Uh, x plus 2. So we're going to put x plus 2 for the x's. So x plus 2 squared means 2 of them. x plus 2, x plus 2. So x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4, that's going to be x squared plus 4x plus 4 right here. I'm just copy it down. So now we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 3x plus 6 and the 2. But now wait, hey, x squared? No, nothing with that one. How about this one? 4x and 3x, 7x. 4 and 6 is 10, 2 more, 12. So f of x plus 2, f of x plus 2 is going to be x squared plus 7x plus 12. x squared plus 7x plus 12, that's it. Leave it. Oh, too fast. Ah, here you go. F of x plus h. Oh, a little bit tougher. Letters, letters. Right, this okay. F of x plus h means x plus h. Square means x plus h, x plus h. So we have x times x, x squared, x h plus x h plus h squared. And that's going to be 1 x h, 1 x h. Again, 1 and 1. Think like one little bear, one little bear, two little bears or something. Counting bears. So x squared plus 2 x h plus h squared. Now we can multiply this out right here. So x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And 3 times that, 3x. 3 times h, 3h plus 2. No like terms, and we're done with it. That's it. That's all we can do with that one. Okay. Ah, uh, what is this? Add them. Sure. First function, f of x, g of x. is add the functions, f plus g of x first. And then once you do that, find f plus g of 1. Okay, domain is the infinity infinity for for this f plus g of x. You'll see in the second way. f plus g of x means f of x and g of x. Add those two together. Take the parentheses off. So we have 2x plus 3, 4x plus 5. Can we put them together? Yes, that's going to be 6x plus 8. That's what f plus g of x is. Now, f plus g of 1 means put a number in there. So f plus g of 1, the 1. So 6 times 1 plus 8. So that's going to be 6 and 8. So f plus g of 1 is 6 plus 8. Or f plus g of 1 equals 14. Make it easy to calculate if you want to. Remember, sharks eat alone, always. They're, no, they're by themselves eating. Uh, another one. Subtract f minus g of x and find f minus g of 2. So we got to subtract the function. So f of minus g of x is f of x minus g of x. f minus g of x is this one right here minus that. But now, look, see the minus sign right here? 2x plus 3 and a negative of 4 is negative 4x and negative of 5 is negative 5. So the signs change right here. So we have that one and that one is negative 2x, and that one and that one is negative 2. So f minus g of x is this, negative 2x minus 2. Now, what is f minus g of 2? Put a 2 in there, our formula. f minus g of 2, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and negative 4 and negative 2 together, two negative signs, add them up, and it's going to be what? 
F my G of 2 equals what? Negative 6. Use your calculator if you want to. Again, domain is all real numbers. F times G of X. Ah, now we got a multiply them, I guess. So F times G of X is 2X plus 3 times 4X plus 5. So let's do that. 2X times 4X is 8X squared. 2X times 5 is 10X. 3 times that is 12X. And then 3 times 5 is 15. 8X squared plus 22X plus 15. F times G of X equals 8X squared plus 22X plus 15. That's it. How do you... Why not find F times G of 3? Okay, put a 3 in there. Put 3 there. Put 3 there. 3, three means... 3 squared means 3 times 3. And that's going to be 9. 9 times 8 72. That's going to be 66. And bring it down. So now this one and this one is 138. But bring it to 15. So 138 and 15 is what? 153. You can do that. calculator. You can do that also if you want to. All right. Let's go next one. F divided by G of X. Okay, that's fine. So, F of X divided by G of X. F of X is 2X plus 3 and 4X plus 5. Numerator and denominator. But, think about this. Remember earlier? You can't have 0 in the denominator. It can't be coming 0 right here. So, 4X plus 5 can never be, what? 0. So, let's do this. Set up 4X plus 5 equals 0. Minus 5 minus 5. 4X equals negative 5. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. So, X equals negative 5 fourth will create and make this become what? 0 in the denominator, the bottom part. So domain is what? X such that the set X such that X is not equal to what? Negative 5 fourths. So we can use anything you want, but don't use that number. But all right, back to this one. F or G of X is this. Find 4. F or G of 4. So put a 4 in there. Put a 4 in there. So that's going to give you what? 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 times 4 is 16. So that's going to be 11 over 21. Leave it like that. Or you can use the graphing calculator if you want to. Just put it in there. Put mass fraction. It'll give you the same answer. Composite function, hmm, a little bit different. F circle G of X, composite G, and F circle G of 1. So F circle G of X is defined to be F of G of X. So G of X is this one here. So you're going to get this one and put it in there. So 2 times 4X plus 5, it was over here, plus that. So that's going to be 8X, it's going to be 10 plus 3, so that's going to be 8X plus 13. F circle G of X is it is supposed to be. All I did is I got this and I put it right in there. Got it? That's all I did. Now, F circle G or F composite G of 1, put 8 times 1 is 8, and 13 is what? 21. Or again, you can use the calculator. Domain, all real numbers again. Ah, G circle F. Switch it out a little bit here, huh? So G circle F of X, or G composite F of X. So it means G of F of X. So F of X is going to go inside. So this one right here, you're going to get it and put it in there. This right here, put it in there for the X. So I see, that's why I got this. 4 times what? 2X plus 3 plus 5, because I got this in here. Now it's going to be 8X plus 12 plus 5. It's going to be 8X plus 17. And guess what? Fine. Now we need to find G circle F of 2. So G circle F of 2 means put a 2 there, put a 2 there. 8 times 2 is 16 and 17 is going to give you what? 33. And again, the domain is all round numbers for this one too. Okay, we use the graphing calculator. All right, next one. Composite function again. F circle F. What? F of F of X. Okay, so that means you're going to get F of X, this one here, and go back and put it inside the same function again. F of f of x means the, the 2 2x plus 3 goes inside of the 2 times x plus 3. So you see it? 2 times 2x plus 3 plus 3. So that's going to give you 4x plus 6 plus 3. So that's going to be 4x plus 9. So that's f circle f, f composite f of x. So now, of 3. So let's find it. f circle f of x is this. f circle f of 3 is 4 times 3. It's 12 plus 9 is 21. Again, the domain is all real numbers. Ah, one more. Composite function. G circle G of X. Composite. G circle composite G. And find G circle G of 4. So first let's do this part. So G of G of X means the G of X will go inside itself. 4X plus 5 goes back inside 4X plus 5 right there. So 4 times 4X plus 5 plus 5. See right here? This one went inside. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 5. So 16X plus 25. Now, how do you find G circle G of 4? Well, I'll put it in the formula. G circle G composite, 4 equals 16 times 4 is 64 plus 25. And 25 and 64 is what? 89. Yay. This is 
is a composite function. Or you can use a graphing calculator to get th this answer right here. There it is. You can use your graphing calculator. Domain, all real numbers again. Okay. So now, what? We're done. I guess so. So now, once you finish that, yes, you know what you're going to do. Go to Mustang Island, have fun with your friends who are four best friends out there. Mustang Island, Padre Island. Have fun out there. Galveston, whatever. Texas. Or if you're super rich friends and you, you can go to Must Hawaii. Get your Hawaii stuff on. Go out there with surfboards with the big old waves. Big old 40 footers. Have fun out there. You know, the waves will break your board sometimes, but don't worry about it. Smart birds right there. Saying yes. Have fun. Oh, the math monster doesn't scare us. We know how to do algebra one. We are not scared of the math monster. Yes, math is fun. Holy cow, these guys used to scare us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe a little bit now, but not as much. What about seven more of these guys? Nah, they still don't scare us. One, two, three, four, five, seven more of these guys. Seven and seven. Nah. Mm, seven, seven. Nope, they don't scare us. No way. What about this guy? Holy cow, giant crunchy one of these guys. And now Algebra 1 used to be more scary than this. But now I think Algebra 1, we know how to do that. How about Crunchy 1? Oh my gosh, 1, 2, 3? Now nah, we're still not scary. It's not more scary. Anyway, good luck. This is Professor Alfredo Galvez Jr. on Algebra 1. Okay, good luck. Again, Professor Alfredo Galvez Jr. saying good luck, good luck, good luck. And I'll say it one more time, Professor Alfredo Galvez Jr. says good luck, good luck, good luck. Do really well on your star Algebra 1. Good luck. Bye. Bye-bye.